I'll admit, I don't actually have a topic in mind for today's podcast episode, but I'm going to start speaking and let's just see what happens. Uh, so, recently, I managed to find... I, I Well, firstly, I've been on the hunt for podcasts. Yes, I remember saying, not all that long ago, to be honest, that I was sort of moving away from podcasts and moving more towards, like, televised media. Um, you know, stuff you can see on television, drama, films, or anime. Uh, that kind of thing. Animated things. Uh, well, that didn't go to plan. <laughs> I'm one of these people who just finds it hard sitting still and watching television. Uh, so it doesn't really work that well for me. So I'm back. I'm back on the podcasts pretty much full time. I, I, I've got like one one thing that I'm still watching or a couple of things, animated things I'm still watching. But um, yeah, it's I'm just not just not such a fan of TV. And with podcasts, it's just being able to do other stuff at the same time. It's being able to like tidy, tidy the house up whilst you're listening or I don't know, wash dishes or prepare a meal or go for a walk in, in the outdoors. It's it's so, so different. Uh, and I just enjoy it so much more. So yeah, back for podcast back on podcasts and I've been searching for new podcasts recently. Uh, because you know, like I mentioned before, the, the problem I was having is also, I was sort of outgrowing the podcasts that were sort of for learners and sort of had very learner type material in them and I wanted something a bit more native but not but not maybe full on native because some some of the podcasts I've tried like for for native um, Japanese speakers they're just like wow uh, very very fast and I can I can follow along with what's being said depending on the topic but it is not easy it takes a lot of concentration. Uh, so I want something that's a, a bit more difficult to listen to, but not too difficult. Anyway, uh, one podcast I found recently, yeah, well, I can't even remember the name. Um, it, I think it, I think there's a almost like a, do you know, like a, a VTuber, a virtual YouTuber. I don't think they're so popular in any country apart from Japan, really. But um, it's someone who has like a, a sort of animated computer character avatar, like instead of really showing themselves uh, on the video, it's like this animated character. Um, well, I suppose this podcast is a bit like that, like the profile picture is some kind of animated character. And the voice of the person who does the podcast is very sort of like, animated character style I've, I've no idea if that's her real voice or if that's just something for the podcast but it's sort of like a very cute sounding voice but anyway the good thing about this podcast that i really like is it's in friendly what friendly isn't the right way of saying it like uh like the friendly the informal style of japanese and right at the start of the podcast she mentions that she's going to be just talking in this sort of informal fashion, this informal way, um, like she would as if she were talking to a friend, which is great because I, I don't know how much you know about Japanese, but there's like too many levels of um, ways that you can alter the way that you speak, uh, the, the words that you use, depending on how formal or informal a situation is. And... I don't know if, if other people learning Japanese have this problem, but if it's too, if it's too formal, I find it really hard to listen to. I find it hard to sort of engage with. Like it just sounds, well, it sounds too formal <laughs> and sort of like a bit dry, like a bit, you know, like not so fun. So the podcasts that I really appreciate, and to be honest, there aren't that many of them, uh, are the ones where someone's informal. And I think that, like, being informal, you know, like you're talking to a friend, being casual, really changes the dynamic 
sort of like the style, the feel uh, of a podcast. And that's that's why I'm that's why I try to be informal. I'm I think I think on this podcast it's like a mixture of informal and formal at the same time. I want to be completely informal when I talk. But I know if I do that, if I completely like let go, if I stop myself thinking about what I'm saying, it's just going to be completely natural, fast English. And uh, I want to I want a bit of moderation. You know, I want to I want to keep myself in check a little. Um Otherwise, I'm just gonna, it's just going to be too fast. Maybe not too fast, but like, yeah. I, I, I like to think about what I'm saying. And if I use a difficult word, I, and I want to explain that. Or if I use a phrase, I want to explain that. Uh, or sometimes I use, if I say a word, I want to choose another word similar to it and then say that at the same time. So you can sort of begin to link words together in your mind. Because that's a really good way of um, remembering things. So I, I do often try and say two words together at the same. I've done it in this podcast um, just like a few minutes ago. So yeah, I can't I can't completely let go, but um, definitely I want to try doing that someday. So in the future, I I have plans. I have plans that I would like to start another podcast. That is not not really aimed at English language learners, but I think anyone who's listening to this podcast and is thinking, this is so easy to understand. I understand everything that Chris says. Or maybe like I understand 80%, 90%, and I want a, a bit more of a challenge. Or I just want to listen to uh, English that's a bit faster. I think this podcast that I'd like to make would be good for you. Uh, but I'm not going to say what it is yet because it depends on so many things. You know, I'm, uh, without giving too much away, without saying too much, I'm not, not going to say anything. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to say anything. All, all, all that you need to know is that I, that I definitely want to start making another podcast at some point. And if I can do it, I will do it. But, but some, some things need to fall in place first, fall into place first. So some things need to happen in order for me to be in a position to do it. Yeah. Uh, right. So, so. What should I talk about next? It seems that I've got to this place where um, I've gone down a little road talking about uh, podcasts and language learning a bit, you know, because podcasts are for language learning. Well, mine are anyway. Uh, and I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> I suppose, actually, there was another thing I was thinking about only this morning, and it was natural podcasts it was the value i'm going back onto podcast sorry back onto the podcast topic but um it's interesting it was like the value of like natural podcasts because as you know i edit my podcast sometimes i'm just talking away and then it's like i'm just thinking for a long time and i <clears throat> sorry and i have to edit that silence out or maybe i'll edit something like that out where my voice goes a bit weird and like record it again but there's something to be said for the for like a natural, really natural podcast where you just you press play. I'm oh, sorry, <laughs> you press record, and then you just talk and talk and talk, and then you press stop at the end, and you don't edit, and you make mistakes, and there's lots of long pauses in there because that that's you know that that is really really natural English, then isn't it? That is um, that's as natural as you can get. That's real life then. You're capturing real life. It's unedited. And I do like the idea of doing that. But I I didn't I don't know what other people like. I don't know if that's gonna be boring to you if there's long pauses. I might I might give it a try actually. I might try doing it and see if 
people like it more or not. Um, but there is this one one YouTube channel I watch, and it's it's edited like it, it's uh, you know you can see it is edited quite a bit, but it's it has this really relaxed feel to it. It has this really natural sort of calm feel to it, and I like that. And I think if you can combine that, if you can get that into a podcast where it's like natural and relaxed, then I think that's good. I think that's um, that's going to be helpful for learning, picking up a language. So yeah, I'm always looking for Japanese podcasts with very informal language. There's just too much, too much, too many too many formal ones. I know. I know when my girlfriend was doing one last, I said, "Stop, stop using all this informal. It's uh, formal Japanese. I want to hear informal Japanese, please. Everyone's using formal Japanese. Just make it informal, like you're talking to a mate, like you're chatting to a friend in a pub. That's the, that's the style I want to hear, because you know, in, formal formal language is everywhere. If you if you want to like listen to some, you know, proper material." so-called proper material like the the work books that come with audio cds and whatnot it's always formal the stuff that's rare the stuff that's valuable to me is definitely informal right i think i have definitely talked enough about uh podcasts and informal and formal language and what else oh I don't know, whatever other nonsense I've talked about today. <laughs> uh, so that is it. Until next time, I hope you're I hope you're having a great time listening to this podcast. And I hope you're also listening to not just my podcast, but also other people's excellent podcasts. Uh, let's also hope that they are informal too. Uh, we don't want too much formal English. It's boring and stiff. You want something fun, something... Uh, you know, something you can connect with. That's good. Anyway, until next time, bye-bye.